God may not define family the same way we do. God brought us into the world through a natural family, and I simply adore my family. These are the people I've known all of my life, the people I've laughed with, cried with, celebrated with, and spent time with. But Jesus redefines family and suggests it goes deeper than ethnicity, name, or lineage. In Mark chapter 3, verses 31 through 35, Jesus' biological mother and brothers arrive at a house in which Jesus is teaching. Someone announces to Jesus they are outside and wanted to speak to him. Jesus responded, now just a heads up, when I first read Jesus' response, my jaw dropped. Who are my mother and my brothers? He asked. Well, then he looked around at those seated in a circle around him and said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Wait, what? That response could get some people fired up, especially Jesus' mom and brothers. But Jesus wasn't being disrespectful. He was teaching a fundamental lesson about what it means to be a part of God's family. And it means an allegiance that isn't tied to biology, but is tied to faith. You see, God's family isn't based on having the same name but on having the same Heavenly Father. From a heavenly perspective, you are more connected to those who have accepted Christ as their Savior than the people you've known all your life. So next time you're at church, look around at your family and consider how this new reality might transform the way you treat those in the pews around you.